client, Denise. Denise has been working with me in person and remotely for about nine months now, and she's gotten some fantastic results. So Denise, thanks for taking time out of your day to jump on the call today. No problem. That's great. So before we get into the training specific questions, can you tell people a bit about yourself? So where you're from, where you live, your work, family, kids, and your age? Sure. Um, so yeah, I, I, I live in Melbourne, uh, in the inner city, Melbourne, um, born in Australia. Yeah. Uh, I, ha I don't have children. Uh, my partner does, but they're adults now. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm 53 years old. So um, yeah, uh, and that's pretty much it for me. <laughs> right. So why did you look for a trainer initially? Um, so I have had personal trainers in the past mm -hmm. um, and then I was doing other training and I noticed that as I, for me personally, as I got older, a lot of the work I was doing either with a personal trainer or uh, with other forms of exercise was very high impact and it just wasn't suiting my body type anymore. Went out and tried to do my own thing with home workouts, um, tried a little bit of F45, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I just, I just wasn't sticking to a regular program um, and I just wasn't seeing results. I was actually getting, my injuries were getting worse rather than better. And I felt that I really needed to get some expert advice and change up and get serious about um, continuing my fitness, but doing it in a way where it wasn't making my injuries worse. Yeah, all right. So basically you're saying that you were doing, you know, working with some other trainers over the last few years, you tried other, you know, group classes like F45, but you found that it was a lot of it was high impact and you found that the injuries were not going away. In fact, sometimes they were getting worse. That's right, yeah. I mean, I've been doing high impact for a long time, uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, as, as, I, as I was getting older, it just, just doesn't, it didn't, wasn't suiting me anymore, yeah. Yeah, so did you have any fears or apprehensions before we started working together? Um, so, um, fears, I think, um, I had seen some of your coaching at the gym I was at um, and some of the exercises looked a little bit childlike. Um, yeah. I don't know if it was a fear, but it was quite amusing. easy. Um, but it was also very low impact. So because I was so used to uh, high impact uh, workouts, I wasn't sure whether what you were doing was effective. Um, yeah. So... That was where my apprehension um, probably was, or fear initially, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're saying that the program, definitely not, not a lot of high intensity or high impact stuff in it. And also some of the movements can look a bit silly. Um, so how would you say the program is different to other ones you've tried since you've gone through it now? Now, yeah, now that I've been doing it for nine months, um, mm -hmm. I, it's different because it's it's very well measured, um, and it it's a, the way the, the programs are built. It's built to accommodate you, and it can suit any fitness level. Um, mm -hmm. And also, the beauty of it is you can work quite comfortably at your own pace. So you mm -hmm. don't feel like you have to keep up with the next person. You do it at your level. Uh, the other thing I found was the program by slowing it right down. You can really feel every muscle working and you're working your body in such a controlled way that you're not you're not missing a muscle range at all. Mm. Um, and that that in itself has really helped me to strengthen my whole body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good point about slowing down and there's just not as much momentum being used in the movements, so you you know, every kind of rep you're doing is very honest and you're you're working the muscle the whole time. So, yeah, I definitely agree with that point. Yeah. Uh, Denise, how would you say, um, you know, let's say if you had continued doing the high impact stuff, what sort of condition would you say you'd be in now 
with regards to continuing that kind of heavier training. And I guess I'm asking this question because I think the hardest thing for people to come come not necessarily come to, on, to terms with, but to get on board with is doing less intensity but getting better results. Yeah, so if I continued doing what I was doing, I reckon by now um, I would have, well, there were two two main areas that, are my, that started getting quite weak was my lower back mm-hmm. and, my knees and my knees. And I reckon if I continued high intensity, I would have been walking like a cripple, I feel, um, yeah. because my lower back would have been so sore. And one thing with my knees in particular, because um, I used to do a lot of running as well for many years, and I got to the point where when I would bend down and up again, it was it was like I felt like I was 100 years old. My knees would creak. I would groan when I went, went, when I reached right down and when I got up again. And ever since doing um, this sort of fitness uh, and using that full range and full mm. body movement, um, I don't do that anymore. My knees do I, they don't hurt. I find that I don't I can get up and down quite easily. There's no groaning. <laughs> um, I don't sound older than I should. Um, yeah. So uh, for me, that's. That was, that's the big difference between actually doing it and if I continued doing high intensity, I wouldn't yeah. wouldn't be where I am today with my uh, mobility. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I remember you telling me that when you said that the knee the knees don't make any noises anymore and it just feels <laughs> really comfortable getting up and down. So that's right. Even walking upstairs, you could hear it creaking the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's really good to hear. And would you say? Out of everything, you know, over the last nine months, would that be kind of the biggest transformation you've experienced? Absolutely, yeah, yep. yeah. I, I was, um, like, I've even started doing a little bit of running again, mm-hmm. which is something I never would have considered ever doing again because mm. of the state of my knees. And, I mean, I don't do long distance anymore, but um, that little bit of running, um hasn't aggravated my knees at all so that's a really good sign yeah that's amazing Mm -hmm. um how would those close to you describe the difference they've seen in you um so generally they uh most people would say i've uh i'm much stronger Mm. Um, and yeah obviously a lot more mobile (laughs) yeah so it's not groaning anymore when i get down and up and down so um, yeah, possibly a lot more mobile, just in the way I'm moving and carrying out my daily life. Whether you're carrying shopping or whatever, um, it, yeah, it's not a it's it's not a strain. You just you do it like you did when you're in your thirties or twenties. Yeah. You don't think about it. Yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, let's say someone is kind of in a position where you were last year and they're debating whether or not to start training or even if they have stopped training completely, what advice would you tell them? Um, I would probably just say just have a go because you will mm-hmm. be surprised. Um, it's, it, it's not about keeping up with the person next to you. It's about working at your own pace. Um, mm-hmm. And... You don't have to work at that pace every day. Uh, the good thing is with this program, you might feel really good and do a really good strong workout and the next day you're not feeling so good, but you can still do the program, you just pair it back a bit uh, and not feel bad about yourself because you're still being active and mm-hmm. you're still engaging mm-hmm. those muscles um, and that just means that you're always uh, staying engaged with the program. As well, uh, and it's a good discipline. Um, and the other thing is, because of the type of movements you do, sometimes you don't even realise you're exercising. So it is fun to do, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, and the good thing about that is you just keep coming back and wanting to do it. You don't. It doesn't get stale. Yeah. Okay. So that was two really great points. So basically, what you're saying is. Listen to your body, don't smash yourself every time you train and it's okay to do lower intensity training sessions and not feel guilty, but you're still consistently training over the course of the month and the year. 
And then you're also saying that the movements you're doing tends to be enjoyable. So a lot of times it feels a lot more like fun than training. Yeah. Yeah. So that's basically the recipe to training consistently forever. So thanks for sharing that, Denise. That's yeah. great. <laughs> so last question is, uh, what is your favorite skill you've achieved so far? Um, there's a few, but mm -hmm. um, I suppose uh, I'm really happy that I can do a handstand. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, um, it's funny from the when you first try one, that it just feels so foreign. Um, like you can feel the blood rush into your head and thinking, oh my God, how can you do this all the time? Um, but the more you do it, uh, the easier it gets or the more normal it feels. And it is such a good feeling when you start floating off that floor, uh, off that wall. It is mm. a very good feeling. And the other thing I really, uh, really uh, feel that I'm starting to get better at is the flow movements. And yeah. that really forces what I have noticed is, and it's part of the program, is by slowing everything down um, and not jerking the movements, you, can, you get a real nice, beautiful rhythm and it feels mm -hmm. really nice to do. So that's something else I feel that I'm really getting um, a lot of joy and, and getting better at as well. Yeah, and just for people who's watching, the flow movements are locomotion movements. So kind of bear, frog or monkey and combining them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh, Denise, thank you for taking the time. Thanks for sharing your results and your advice. I think a lot of people get a lot of value out of today's call. No worries. Thank you. All right. Cheers, Denise. Thanks.